have someone in their corner backing them. I learned for life high schools. I can be myself. I can feel safe. I can go to school at times that work for me. I can prioritize my mental health. I can have a better school life balance. I can work at my own pace. I can control my narrative. I learn for life high schools. I can control my own education. I can change my story. And, and so, so can, can you. you. Enroll anytime to control your education completely free. Your emblem of devotion. Have your engagement ring custom made by the Jewelry Exchange. Choose a one-carat lab-grown diamond for $5.99 or a natural GIA for $19.90. 18K mounts are $4.99. Thousands of choices, always the best deal. The Jewelry Exchange, Tustin. Do you love folk and acoustic music? Re-experience the music that started it all at A Celebration of Folk Music. August 17th and 18th at LA's Greek Theater. Sponsored by Paul Mitchell. Featuring early pioneers, the Kingston Trio and the Limelighters. With additional performances by the Hot Licks, the John Stewart Band, and special guest Cynthia Sayer. Get your tickets today via Ticketmaster or at LAGreekTheater.com. This summer is the perfect time to get away with a great deal on your favorite Hyundai models. All backed by America's Best Warranty, plus three years or 36,000 miles of complimentary maintenance. Add more joy to your journey. Hurry in to the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Get in and get away now. Get 1.99% APR for 60 months on the Hyundai Tucson and Tucson Hybrid. See your SoCal Hyundai dealer. Okay, 500 deluxe garden gnomes. Wow. I only meant to order five. There's not enough money in my account for these. I'm going to get charged. Two things I just can't deal with, overdraft charges and garden gnomes. Mm. But your BMO Smart Advantage checking account gives you an extra day to avoid an overdraft fee. Nice to see a bank cutting people some slack. Oh, well, mistakes happen, and we give you time to correct them. So you don't like gnomes, huh? What about that one? <laughs> that one I like a lot. BMO. I was injured in a car crash. I had no idea how much my case was worth. Call the Barnes firm to find out what your case could be worth. We will help you get the best result possible. Good morning, everyone. I'm Carlos Herrera. Hundreds of cancellations and delays later. The travel nightmare continues here at LAX. Chaos, confusion among flyers. After a major tech issue, grounded flights for several hours. And this morning, experts are warning people that the outage and delays are far from over. We have the latest next. I'm Gene Kane coming up next. Just as you saw, they're at the airport with Carlos. There are issues all around the globe. This one at the port of Long Beach and Los Angeles causing issues for semi-truck drivers. These people deliver those important shipments around the world. More on that and an update coming up next. I'm David Lazarus. Nearly a quarter century ago, the world feared that Y2K would bring global computer systems crashing down. It finally happened today. We'll look at the big picture coming right up. I'm Olivia DiBortoli. It is opening day for the OC Fair. In addition to all the rides and the great food, there are so many animals because agricultural education is so important. More from, from the OC Fair <laughs> coming up. Okay. And I'm Scott Manson for entertainment. Actress Francesca Eastwood is here to talk about her new psychological thriller. Plus, your first look at a brand new film about the manager who discovered the Beatles. That's coming up. Good morning, happy Friday, TGIF. I'm Kirk Hawkins filling in for Mark Krisky. Uh, the beginning of a heat wave, the sun is shining across the Southland, maybe a little hazy as you can see from this live picture uh, from our Mount Wilson camera. In today's forecast, 76 expected along the coast, 83 downtown LA, 104 in the San Fernando Valley. We had some low clouds and fog mainly contained to some coastal areas in a, a patchy nature. 91 expected today in Orange County, 102 in the Inland Empire and 105 in the High Desert, where we're looking at both areas could have some gusty winds. Well, that is uh, the latest in your forecast. Frank, now back to you.
And some breaking news, uh, the L.A. County Superior Court is experiencing significant computer issues. It's impacting the court's ability to conduct business. Anyone scheduled to appear in court remotely today will be notified about a new date. The court says it is working to establish connectivity. The Orange County Superior Court also experiencing technical issues with its system. The court says people doing any business with the court today should expect delays. It's not clear if these issues are related to the CrowdStrike cybersecurity software update failure. That CrowdStrike outage Frank just mentioned being blamed for the mass disruptions at airports worldwide here in the U.S. More than 2,000 flights have been canceled so far after the FAA issued a temporary ground stop that impacted several airlines, including Delta, American, and United. Uh, they're slowly getting back online, but delays are expected to last throughout the day. KTLA's Carlos Herrera live now at Terminal 7 at LAX to give us a look at the situation. Carlos, good morning. Hi, Jessica. Good morning. And you know what? Glad to report that things are slowly starting to improve here this morning. Still a nightmare for many passengers here this morning. They've been stranded here for several hours, many of them since 5 p.m. yesterday. We're hearing from uh, LAX officials so far 188 delays, 102 cancellations so far. And those could continue. We're hearing from dozens of passengers. They tell us they slept here. The lines at the counters are hundreds of people long. Their airlines apps aren't working. They're not updating. Those whose flights haven't been canceled today, they're trying to check in. But even if they get on a plane and leave, their uh, luggage could be stuck here because uh, a lot of uh, the uh, conveyor belts aren't working. So that's definitely a good news, bad news. Now you're seeing the chaos inside, long lines. But what you're not seeing is where the light starts outside. Many of these folks have been waiting three four, even five hours to try and rebook. They were stranded here since last night. Let's walk over so you can just see how long, how many people, safe to say hundreds of folks have been waiting with no luck, hoping to rebook. We're hearing United is offering waivers. Good morning. Good morning. You've been stuck? We have been stuck. Uh, we had a Kabul San Lucas flight that was supposed to leave at 7 in the morning. It got canceled. We've been here for a couple of hours, but it's not as bad as others where they said they've been waiting about 24 hours. Oh, yeah. Some people have been here since 8 p.m. True, at 1 a.m. as well, yes. Wow. So uh, what's next for you? What are you going to do? You know what? We tried, uh, we're going to try to rebook. We try to get a boat. Um, that's, we can't even get on our cruise this weekend, but we're trying to figure it out, really. I think like everyone else. Many people having their vacation plans uh, disrupted. Others have important family events. Others have funerals. We've talked to uh, a gentleman earlier this morning as well on this. Now, we do have an updated statement from the um, CEO of the... CrowdStrike, which is a cyber security company that has taken the blame for the outage, uh, saying, quote, we are working with all impacted customers to ensure that systems are back up and they can deliver the services their customers are counting on. As noted earlier, the issue has been identified and a fix has been deployed, end quote. The FAA also continues to investigate this and work closely with the airlines. President Joe Biden has been briefed on the situation. LA Mayor Karen Bass says she's been in touch with LAX officials in hopes that they resolve all the travel issues. United said to us earlier that they hope to get everything fully restored by 9 a.m. It's 10 a.m. now, Frank and Jessica. No full restoration just yet. We're just hoping that that happens really soon for the hundreds of people that are here stuck waiting to get their plans back in line. Send it back to you. What a painful day for them. All right, uh, Carlos, thank you for that. The same uh, global tech outage impacting airports has also brought traffic at our local ports to a crawl. Trucks are backed up, drivers enduring long waits to deliver their cargo in L.A. and in Long Beach. KTLA's Gene Kang live in Long Beach with an update for us. Gene, good morning. Good morning, Frank and Jessica. A look at this. All of this traffic out here at the port of Long Beach and Los Angeles, not only hitting the airports, as Carlos Herrera was showing you, but this is a global impact. Look at all of this traffic as we zoom back this way. This is over at Navy and Terminal Way. We're told this is 
approximately um, maybe about a mile long and a lot of these drivers I've talked to they are slow moving they've been backed up for at least an hour this morning but it looks like the shipments will be running on time so that's very interesting that's according to the authorities out here dozens of semi trucks are in this traffic jam because of the global tech outage take a look this is a look from sky 5 the video above shows you that